Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Hillier? Just a few. Mr. Wilkins, uh, how long have you been in law enforcement? Uh, I was employed as a police dispatcher in Holliston, Massachusetts for approximately three years. Uh, after that, in 2021, is when I was employed with the Chatham County Police Department for about two and a half years. So from like 2018 to 2021, you're a police dispatcher. I guess you moved down here and were... Uh, patrolman at that Patrolman time. at Chatham County? Yes, and then transitioned into a uh, detective role in September of 2022. Okay. And you were a detective from September and then went back to patrol in February? That is correct, yes. I, I was just curious. That's kind of a short time. Why? Uh, I just didn't feel... Um, Fulfilled, I guess, at the, 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 the in the detective unit. So, and then when did you move back to Massachusetts? Uh, so I left the detective unit in February of 2023 and was on patrol. And then I would say in July of 2023 is when I moved back to Massachusetts. All right. So you've been up there about 15 months, a little bit more at this point in time. I, I think that's a fairly accurate. You said you had a conversation with Ms. Simon at the patio area, um, and I believe Mr. Simon was there, Paul Simon was there, and um, was anyone else present? Uh, I believe uh, the defendant's fiance at the time, um, Daniel was there. Uh, I don't remember how close in proximity he was, though. So. Any children there? What was that? I'm sorry. Any, any children there? Uh, I can't recall. Okay. How about any any other adults? Uh, there were a few adults. Uh, I think I talked to them sparingly after the interviews with the three, but I, I can't recall their relation to the defendant off the top of my head. Right. And how long were you on the scene that day? This is we're talking October fifth, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. How long were you actually on scene that day at five thirty-five Buckhalter Road? Um, from my arrival at ten forty-four in the morning, mm -hmm. I believe we didn't leave. If memory serves me correctly, um, maybe 5 or 6 p.m. Again, that's a ballpark estimate, though. So at least seven or eight hours. Though. Roughly, yes, sir. Okay. And when you did leave, my understanding is, and I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, just trying to make sure I understand, but when you did leave seven or eight hours later, it was to go to the police station and conduct interviews, correct? Yes, sir. Right. So it wasn't like you just went home. You were there for seven or eight hours, and then you went and did an interview, correct? No, no sir. There was no downtime between leaving the scene and going to the station. Right. And, and that's kind of what I was getting to. Now, while you were on the scene for those seven or eight hours, was it an increasing number of people that were arriving on the scene? I would say um, more resources had arrived on scene in an attempt to find Quinn at that time, yes. So the number of people kept going up during that seven or eight hour period? Yes, sir. And to the best of your knowledge, was this, was this all of your involvement in the case, to the best of your recollection? Uh, outside of my initial on-scene interview with the defendant and the interview with uh, Paul Simon and what Mr. Dean had asked me of the cell phone records, um, in terms of major involvement, yes. Uh, after that, I was moved to more of a supportive role um, where I was just there to help as a, as a body. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. On the day that you were there on October 5th, did you conduct any of the searches on you know, the house or anything like that while you were there? Um, not any of the in-depth searches to my recollection. Uh, it was the interviews, um, conversations with the other detectives that had arrived on scene, and then the interviews shortly after. That's all the questions I got. Thank you, sir. Mr. Dean. <clears throat> no further questions, Your Honor. All right. May this witness be excused. You may. Yes, Your Honor. You may step down. Thank you. Thank you. That was quick. The state may call its next witness. Your Honor. 